Sawhorses are for losers. Right. Ooh. Oh, man. What have I done? Mechanicking is terrible. Now it's just a whole Whoa. different kind of stuck. Is the bane of my existence. This is what I came home to. <laughs> Our credit card was compromised. Uh, fiddle faddle. This is why you have to pay attention in math class. Look at perfect. Wang. Oh, Wang. that is. Looks like we're building a. A magazine rack. These handles will recess in our doors. And we could pretend we didn't do this, but. Welcome back to Retro Revivals. This video is packed full of good stuff. If you didn't see our last video, it was a recap of all the work we've done to our 1976 Dodge RV named Harvey. Do you like that name? I love that name. Pretty classic. Timeless. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we got some mechanical stuff we're going to do. I've got a radiator that I got off of eBay, the cheapest one. And we're going to solve those cooling issues that we've been having. I also got an alternator because I broke an alternator bolt off in an earlier video. Yeah, and once we take care of all that fun stuff, we are going to get inside, insulate the walls, new paneling, cabinets. We designed, we, we have this brainchild of a storage cabinet to go behind the couch where the wall's angled. So we'll see if we can pull that off. It'll be fun to try. Hey, if you like what you've been seeing, don't hesitate to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. Also, comment down below. We like to see your comments. We reply back. And if you haven't checked out any of our earlier videos, it's really been a whole series. So check those out. All right, without further ado. See you guys. Not to right. On to the show. All right, here we go. We bought this foam, seems like forever ago. We we're very ambitious. Um, we have that and we have this pile that we saved. And so um, we're gonna start piecing this back wall together. Just a quick side note. We wanna be completely legal when we're driving our RV down the road. Uh, when I took it for the last test drive, I got pulled over. Now, uh, the cop was really cool about it. We had actually taped the license plate in the back window. He said that wasn't really legal, but uh, he let me off with no ticket. So what we wound up doing was getting this lighted license plate bracket. We are going to run the wires through the wall here, get that mounted up before we close in the back wall. There, hey, hey. Generally, when you're making uh, splices and wires, the more splices, the better. That's what they say. And lie! I don't uh, think that's true, is it? No, that's not accurate. Look at all these splices. <sighs> There's a lot going on here. A winning smile. Don't really feeding many, her to the onions. Don't show how many times I cut the garbage can. <laughs> Saw horses are for losers. <laughs> said nobody ever. I told her to go get the saw horses, but, but she said trash can. <laughs> The jewel. Oh. If you drop it onto a stick. Right. Ooh. Oh man. And since we're swapping the radiator, I've got to pull the fan shroud, pull the fan, take the water out of it, take the radiator out of it, pull the grill out of it. So while that's off, can we do the headlights? That would be a great idea. We could probably Yay. do the headlights. All right. You just unplug them from the inside. Yeah. There's a handy little connector there. I had looked at it and I was trying to spin the bulb off like a lot of more modern vehicles. You can usually unplug it from the back of the housing there. That did not happen. So let's see how pretty this thing looks without a face on it. Hey, hey. Not nearly as pretty. <laughs> Should be able to pull the radiator out of the top. My main problem is one, the brake booster and two, 
the uh, lines to the master cylinder here. I've got a, a one bolt to take out and then really it is ready to slide out in theory. Um, there's not a whole lot of clearance over here for the heater or the, uh, the fan box. So I can't really slide it that way. Things are going to get a bit tight. Ouch. It's a heavy radiator. They look like strong hands. <laughs> it's not aluminum. Uh, no, no, it's probably full of mud too. So jeez, old Pete, what have I done? All right, got that bad boy out. Here's what we're gonna put in. I feel like I'm gonna smash the light in half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Mechanicking is terrible. People like well, this, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some people do. I wouldn't say this is. I might need more hands than this. Huh. So I had, do you see these one that come back out? I gotta push them in before I can yeah. spin it. You wanna help so, a sister? Yeah. Got it, all by myself. Yep, crisis averted. I got the trans cooler lines off. Ooh. This radiator weighs a ton. Oh, well, this is what I was afraid of. <laughs> Can it, can it pivot? It can't. Like, can the left side come up more straighter? <sighs> more straighter? Yeah. Uh, the, the heater box is my foe right now. Golly. I just pulled the uh, windshield washer jug off of the core support here. So... I'm going to try to now slide the radiator over and maybe pivot it up and shoot it out. It's probably not going to happen. And see oh. this magic happen? <laughs> there is no magic happening. All the magic is gone. Is that a song? It should be. All the magic is gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that was our wedding song. Right. Oh. <laughs> It's well, farther than you had it before. It's further than I've ever been with it. Oh, wow. man. Now it's just a whole well, different kind of stuck. Did, you're saying that right. Would you care oh, for my help? I don't know. That fan shroud, if I haven't said it before, is the bane of my existence. Wow. Oh. Holy Moses. I know. Look at me. All right. It seemed like progress. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I am going to pull the radiator out of the bottom. Okay. Out oh, she comes. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Oh, she's a bleeder. Oh. Ouch. That was my toe. Oh. It's... Oh, hey. boy. <laughs> My trophy. <laughs> Good job, babe. Thanks. You can see the water necks on the, the radiator themselves. On the old one, we're above and below. This one, the upper is uh, on the, the driver's side, and that should give us cross flow, which is probably more efficient cooling. And uh, I did wind up getting getting a three row radiator. A four row would have been better. Hard to find, especially. This, this old one's a three, too, right? Yeah. A three also? Also, yeah. So I don't have any doubts that the, uh, you know, it, it will cool just as good uh, as a new one would. So now I've just got to slide it in place, you know, get uh, get my adjustments. There's supposed to be a direct bolt in, but then again, I got the cheapest one on eBay. So <laughs> before the new radiator goes on, we are going to swap out that alternator. So Tyler's trying to get the old one off now. I say we are trying to swap it out. So. I'll be doing a lot of that. Right. Now that you're a master mechanic. <laughs> there it is. Alternator out. So the bolt that broke is... Oh, uh, that one right there. Yeah. 
Got the new alternator in. Tyler now is trying to do some surgery on the fan shroud because the little studs there don't line up with the holes we have. So we're hoping we can make it fit. I've got all these tools and stuff out. You might not be able to tell, but it's actually getting dark. Um, we're going to come back out tomorrow and get the radiator finished up and the alternator. So what else do we have left to do? So now that the radiator's in, we're just working in reverse to put everything back together. So we're getting back on the alternator and radiator. We've got to run to the store real quick, get some bolts for it. While we're at the, uh, <laughs> while we're out at the auto, auto, <laughs> it's like rock auto. <laughs> right, while we're out at the auto parts store, um, getting some things for the radiator, we're going to try to pick up some paneling. Like, as you can see, we're not quite ready. We still have to insulate this wall, but we're getting close. So I do want to show you, um, Actually, I was measuring the couches today with this, oh my which gosh. is yeah. This is what I came home to. <laughs> so you know these. Um, <laughs> this is our other these Father's Day gifts from like Santa's Secret Shop. Our good tape measure um, fell in a lake, <laughs> and so it gets stuck and it's all rusty. So yeah. anyway, they're not every, making they're not making new tape measures anymore. So well, every time we're at the <laughs> store, we're like, we really need a tape measure, but like we're you know frugal. It might not seem like it for all the money that's going into this, but we are. So anyway, we got this in the mail and it's very exciting and we got it for free. So we didn't say we'd say anything good or bad about it, but we're going to use it and let you guys know what we think. Um, it's the Incurma DM262 bilateral laser distance meter. So like when we were doing this back wall over here with the foam, the foamula. Um, Tyler was in there measuring and then our, some of our boards weren't exactly straight. So we'd have to measure, measure, measure all different spots. So this is like just a regular laser measuring tool, except the ones I've seen in the past only, they're kind of like a Darth Vader measuring tool. And this thing is the Darth Maul of measuring tools. So it shoots a laser out of both ends, in other words, if you're not a Star Wars nerd, okay? So um, it came with the case, came with the little thing, charging cable, a booklet. Right now I have it on basically the most simple setting, but you can do um, area, uh, you can do angles. Um, it has a lot of features that we don't, we, we're, we're gonna use it for measuring right now so that when we go to the store, we know how much paneling to buy. So I'm just gonna hit on and, Oh, okay, so you can rotate the screen. So if I want it sideways, there we go. So you can, I'm gonna just hold it up here and boop, seven foot five inches. Oh, seven foot five inches and seven sixteenths. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty sweet. Um, so about seven and a half feet across. So that's nice because a four by eight sheet, we should be able to get two let's see how high this is so six foot four in kind of a half sure this wall i'm just going to try to hit that foam about where the cabinets would come down eight foot ten hmm. so i mean i don't know i think we're going to try to use it as we put the different foam pieces in here and see if it helps it has to make it faster so anything we can do to save time we're trying to get you guys the after photos of this. And we're also trying to go camping at some point this summer. So anything that saves us time and is more accurate than our rusty or micro, I, mean, I call it a micro. You tape. can't, I mean, <laughs> who's going to be able to read those numbers. I, I was trying to hold it against the floor to measure the couch today. And it was like, like the end is all curled up. So, so anyway, right. I mean, in a pinch, but right. but it's not it's not anything like this. So we'll keep using it. We'll let you guys know what we think. We had intended to get the white paneling, but it's got a really glossy surface, and we want to paint it. So we're gonna go with this brown stuff. Returning home empty-handed, definitely our fault for forgetting the credit card. Our credit card was compromised. Someone charged a 
Priceline Best Western to it at one in the morning the other night. So they canceled our card and we're waiting on our new one. So we just been tapped to paying and we can't do that at Home Depot. So we have to go get an old fashioned credit card. We're back. back in, the belt's back on, uh, the radiator's partially in. Working in the dark, like I like it. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna clean this up and we're gonna end up calling it a night. We'll be back out in the morning. Happy Saturday morning. Good morning to you. So I've got the radiator in, now I've gotta get my uh, fan shroud in first. I'm not going to bolt it up, but I've got to set it in there before I put the fan in. All right. I hope everyone appreciates our fancy way of uh, making sure a trampoline doesn't fly away. <laughs> we bought the auger things and just never installed them. So. Somehow we ran out of time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing with all of our time. All right. Again, I have got to get my fan in there now. <laughs> Why do they make it so easy? You know, I thought the 440 was gonna be good for power and stuff like that. It turns out it's just way too big. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's just some grime and oil from 100 years. Tyler's going to use my dartboard to protect the uh, inside of the radiator as he puts the fan in. So my grandma was pretty frugal and we were helping her clean out her garage one day in Florida and there was like this huge piece of foam in there and we're like, you had it in the garbage pile and she's like, oh no, 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 I'm going to save that for a dartboard. <laughs> so Just a piece of styrofoam. Yeah, it was just a piece of styrofoam. It was about the right size for a dartboard though. Yeah. So, I don't know, I, I never saw her throw a dart in my life, but, <laughs> oh, she was a good grandma. This is literally a dead beetle or something on you. Ew. Oh, you have an ant on you. I can't see it, it went around front. You're videoing the ant instead of taking it off of me. <laughs> Fiddle faddle! <laughs> This video brought to you by Fiddle Faddle. Oh man. <laughs> Nobody remembers what Fiddle Faddle is. Do they they don't make Fiddle Faddle anymore? I don't know when the last time I saw Fiddle Faddle was. <laughs> oh my gosh, now we have to look. <laughs> I can't believe you know what Fiddle Faddle is or was. <laughs> yeah, I know what Fiddle Faddle is or was. Alright. I mean it's kinda like cracker jacks, isn't it? Peanuts, I believe. Don't they? There's peanuts in Cracker Jacks. Aren't there? <gasps> they throw a couple rogue peanuts in there. Right. All right. How many th bolts do you have left to go? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure I got one of them yet. Oh, my gosh. Fiddle faddle. Yeah. Right. One eternity later. You got the fan? On. The fan is on. All four bolts? The four bolts are in. The alternator's in. The belt's tight. We don't have water in it yet, but I've got the fan shroud in place. Oh no, my baby carrier! What, what's in your baby carrier? A baby. Let's see your baby. Oh, It's a sweet one. <laughs> Hopefully that's all just coming from up top, right? Thermostat opened up. Adding some more coolant. 
Alternators in, radiators in, coolants in, uh, overflow tank is in, everything is buttoned up there. Nervous breakdown, check. Check. <laughs> <laughs> uh, transmission, uh, the external transmission cooler here and the ones going into the bottom of the transmission, those cooling lines, I need to uh, um, make up some new ones. I'm not going to get to that right now. That'll be a later video. What we do need to do is get inside and uh, start doing some interior work. Yay! Yay! Uh oh, no, no, so, no, stay, you stay. I was wondering if that stay. might be a thing. No, it's not a I'm thing. Crabbing, it's crabbing. Not a thing. That spider's gonna wish uh, he didn't. That's a thing. Don't get that in your hair. Grab it, grab it. Oh, no! <laughs> Man. Oh, no, no! Oh! oh. At least you didn't get in your hair. <laughs> Yet. Yet. So, yeah, we might want to consider plan B for this cut area. But What's plan B? I, can, I, don't, I don't have a plan B, but I'll spray it just in the bottom for now. Sure. In this corner. There you go. Oh, that's the... My goodness. Somebody's gonna want to hire you. Well, that looks profesh. You did the thing. And look at how do you? They should. We might have got a little carried away here in this area, but. It's cleaning up nice, just maybe wasted a little bit. <laughs> so we have a good plan for the paneling. We didn't get any up tonight, we're just beat. So we'll be out here tomorrow making some more progress. We'll do it. It's a rainy day, we've got things to buy and time to kill, so we're gonna head into Menards and do some shopping. Yeah, the cabinets here were like half price compared to Home Depot, so we're gonna go see what Menards has to offer. Do you guys have Menards? This place is so much more fun than Home Depot. They've got just stuff. We got dog stuff. Stuff. Have a second floor of stuff. Got the Watkins area. <laughs> Got the fiddle faddle station. The meat center. <laughs> Furniture. Boy. <laughs> oh, hey, we gotta find our cart. <laughs> this is the scariest material in the world to build stairs out of. Well, you definitely don't want to keep it. Dang. Looks like one of those um cheese grater? No, the uh feed me Seymour. Feed me Seymour. Oh come on. Yeah. Venus fly trap. Oh, I thought it was Agnes from The Simpsons. Seymour! Alright, the back of the cargo van loaded up. We've got a plan for all these cabinets. Hopefully they're not too heavy. Got some lumbar. Let's see if we can get some stuff done before it really downpours. Unloading the cargo van. Setting up a mobile storage workstation. This is my dad's trailer he's letting us borrow. Thank you, Daddy. Very appreciative of that. Thankful that this guy's helping us unload. Good job. All right, here's what we have. Unfinished 12 inch. These are actually wall cabinets, but we're going to hang them on their side mm -hmm. so they'll open up toward the ceiling. Thanks, buddy boy. All right, here's the back wall. You might hear a little rain on the roof. We're going to eventually have a couch here, and behind that, because the wall's angled, there's going to be a little tabletop. So here's our um, plants. If anyone wants to make one of their own, <laughs> we'll see how it works. 
We just invented this, so wish us luck. Well, here's where we stand with this. Maybe it'll just blow over. Adapt and overcome, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. We're going to um, now get to work building a triangle contraption table doodad from my picture. Yep, takes into account our little angle there so we can put our back of our couch up to it. Have some storage. We just cut three beautiful triangles all the same through the wrong angle. So we got to figure out what did we do? Right. We, we could just do... A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Right. Pythagoras. Yeah. For an isosceles triangle. A oh, right triangle. Dang. <laughs> oh, the kids would be so proud of us. Right. This is why you have to pay attention in math class. You True. use this stuff. You do. At some point. We will not be defeated by third grade math. If we had a protractor, we could do this. Right and a half. Oh my gosh, how? But, no. I mean, that would take us like almost straight up. That's not right. There is no way that's the right angle. No. We did not use a protractor. We traced it again better though and I think we're good that looks awesome I'm gonna show them what's not awesome oh yeah we uh monkeying around with the window took that trim off and we're kind of maybe a little rough on it so the trim will help pull that window back in but we're gonna need to do some more ceiling outside that is not at all what we want to see at this point so that's a bummer this might be it for tonight. We'll be back tomorrow and do some triangle Pythagorean magic. So this board is this length. So in theory, if I just draw a line, we'll have to make it straighter once we Get out of here. Oh, that phone messes me up. Oh, boy. Well, you get the gist. Try to keep it flat. Look at the lead on this pencil. It's ridiculous. I was trying to give you some new lead to work with. Oh, it's the window thing. Oh. That's why I got wonky last time. See? Mm -hmm. I need a, a narrower you want board. I mean, this, what could go wrong, literally? What could go wrong? <laughs> also, this angle should be the same angle we fretted over last night. Mm -hmm. So, once we get this down, I can hold that up to it and see if it's right. Oh, boy, wonky. A little bit wonk. Oops, so we're just, we're going to go with a whole ding-dang circle. <laughs> oh, that just, is, don't pay any yeah. attention to the... Now, for that, I cut myself a template. This was for the other wall. Yeah, and that turned out beautiful. Yeah, so this actually goes up. We'll have to make that up, but sure. anyway. Same template can work on this one. Mm-hmm. So... Provided we made our walls symmetrical. Yeah, but it should. Look at perfect. Wang. Oh, Wang. that is. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> what do you think of that? I like it. You did a good job. Dang. That is darn near perfect. Hurt near. So. At least for who it's for. We are going to go outside and trace from the outside to try to get the location of that and this window. 
this is why you marry a smart girl. (laughs) (laughs) And? Oh, and beautiful. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, everything. uh, It's a total package. Thanks. Oh, my gosh. Well, that... uh, I don't think Christy had any fear. I was probably chomping at my nails, but she did a good job. time for the triangle fandango (laughs) so you have to use your mind's eye for this so we're going to end up cutting this paneling connecting it to these three triangles and then putting paneling on this side also so one side is going to go up against the wall and be the paneling for that wall one side is going to go toward the room and be vertical instead of like the the angled wall that we have now And then we're going to put a top on here all the way across that will open so we'll have storage. But we don't want the storage to be all weird and pointy and deep where we can't reach anything. So we're going to put a shelf that goes in somewhere, however long of a board we have, across. In my mind's eyes, I see. All right, 100% looks like we're building a a magazine rack, which... (laughs) Wouldn't be the worst idea, but this thing's upside down. So give us a minute. We're going to see if it comes together. Okay, magazine rack coming together. (laughs) This is not easy in here, (laughs) y'all. Y'all? (laughs) Y'all. I don't don't say y'all, but apparently when it gets this late, I say y'all. That looks stinking awesome. Come back here and look. That does look nice. Dang. All right. Well, yeah. I, I'm excited to finish it now. I was hoping we get it done tonight, but that's going to be sweet. So we're back at it. We are going to take care of some wires that are whoa, <laughs> back here um, so we can get the rest of this triangle console table thing in place. So I got our little taillight converter box secured to the um, wall here, put a couple zip ties on there just to make sure everything was secure. That's gonna sit down below the shelf, so all that will be hidden, but it'll be secure and we should be okay. We just ripped this board, cut this top, it's just glued pine. And what we're gonna do now is make a couple of cutouts for like compartment doors. And we're gonna leave some on the end hole and then do a door. I don't know about the middle. Um, And then another door, and we'll leave some here. We'll mount a small inverter here probably, and maybe throw a couple cup holders in here and there. And then this wall, we're probably not gonna get to today, but this is gonna have a storage compartment that can be accessed from the outside. And then above that will be cabinets that go up to the ceiling, and then cabinets that go across the top all the way around here, so. That's kind of the plan, but next step, we're gonna cut some compartment doors and try to finish up this creation tonight. (laughs) So it's gonna open like this. Yeah, perfect. this hardware we've never tried this before we'll link it in the description unless it turns out junky then I won't but anyway um, we wanted something that would sit flush because this will be like a tabletop behind the couch so these handles will recess in our doors and when you want to open it you just tink that down you can open close and then when you're finished boop, it goes back into your genius flat. so I think it's gonna take a little, there was no instructions. I mean, it looks pretty straightforward, but we're gonna have to notch out um, 
a slot and a couple holes in each door here. All right, so you going for the test fit. Here goes nothing or everything. You're looking at it. I mean, we could pretend we didn't do this, but we're gonna have to notch the teeniest bit of this right here because of our handles. So let's just pretend that they're up. Sure. There. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> All right, so we, we will fix this somehow, but generally we'll fix it. We're gonna paint in there. This is gonna be a beaut. Good job. I think it's good. Yeah. Oh no, it's nice practical storage. It looks good. We're really excited about how this table's coming along. The paneling's looking good. Um, it looks kind of old school weird right now. Um, we need to get a couple more pieces in before we can do the cabinets, but it's all then gonna get primed and painted except the top here of our table's gonna get sanded and stained. Um, you saw us buy the cabinets. Those are coming in soon. We're gonna get those in. We just ran out of time tonight, so we're gonna actually stop this video and show that in the next one. Um, the last thing I'm gonna do tonight, I'm gonna shoot a couple more measurements so we can order flooring. Um, this Inkerma double laser measuring tool, I think it was a time saver. It can't replace a normal tape measure, like you need both. But I think the measurements were more accurate and quicker than using our tape measure for a lot of it. So yeah. so yeah, we'll keep using it. Um, I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out, but cool. we have a lot of work left to do on this, but we're hoping to move quicker. Yeah. We had some stuff going on this summer, but now we're Oh, we're making moving. a push, right. Uh, I don't know how what percentage level we're at right now. I know there's a lot of stuff I would like to get to. Like, I've got all the brake parts here, at least all the brake parts that I know of that I'm going to need. <laughs> um, I'll get to those, then we can get those wheels and tires on. That should be a good little project yeah i'm excited to see the green and other people are asking like yeah let's see the green wheels I so it'll, i think it'll be cool yeah it'll be cool so we'll, we'll try to get to that soon for you guys and uh we've got to call it a night though we are beat uh we got a lot done and we're looking forward to getting out here in the next week and getting a lot more done sounds good so yeah we appreciate everybody watching if you if you're still watching at this point and you want to throw a thumbs up in there um, we'd really appreciate it and if you want to comment that would be great we love reading them and responding and if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and do that too and that way you won't miss out on anything go, right. good idea <laughs> just click it it doesn't cost you anything right just click it just do it anyway have a good night all right take care guys see ya